Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a Thai drama film from 2007 titled Bangkok Love Story. A hit man and loner named Mech, is assigned to kidnap a police informant named it. Before he does his job, he goes to visit his brother Mok. He promises him that one day he will take their mother and Mok out of Bangkok to live in the countryside. Meanwhile, it is on a date with his fiance Sai. Suddenly there is a gunshot. In the midst of panic Mech kidnaps it. He is ordered to kill him, but Mech just realizes that it is a good person. He doesn't want to kill good person, and he only wants to kill criminals, so he refuses. A gunfight ensues there, and Mech is injured after he protects it. It grabs Mech's gun and shoots at them. He helps Mech, and looks for a way out of the mafia place. The two men then run away with Mech's motorbike. After that, Mech tells it to leave at gunpoint, but he refuses after seeing the injured Mech. It says that he will take Mech wherever he wants. Mech asks him to take him to his home. During the trip, Mech hugs it from behind. Once there, Mech struggles to stand up, so it takes his place to meet Mok. He gives him some money, and says that Mech will be away for a while, and asks him to take care of his mother. When he is about to leave, Mech's mother hugs him, thinking he is Mech. But after knowing that he isn't Mech, she feels very sad. Meanwhile, Sai is worried about its whereabouts. She asks her friend for help to find him. It takes Mech back to his rooftop hideout. He treats Mech's wound, and he takes care of him for days. When Mech regains consciousness, he asks the reason it is still there. It says that he is worried about him, but Mech tells him to leave immediately, but it wants to stay. Mech's mother is dying of AIDS. She got AIDS from her husband who often cheated on other women. Mok also has AIDS, as a result of being abused by his stepfather. Mok takes care of his mother, when Mech isn't around. He goes to buy medicine and food for his mother, but he is constantly insulted and beaten by several people, just because he has AIDS. One night, it finds Mech sitting alone outside. Mech says that it is dangerous outside, as they are being targeted by the mafia but it defends himself that he did it to buy food and medicine for him. He then invites Mech to eat with him. Meanwhile, the mafia boss hires a hitman to kill it and Mech. Later on, it sneaks out secretly to call Sai, and telling her not to worry about him. At the same time, a hitman comes to their place after seeing it, and is about to kill Mech. It arrives just in time, and helps Mech to kill the hitman. The next day, the mafia boss gets angry after hearing that his hired hitman failed. Meanwhile, it tries to apologize to Mech, because of him their hiding place was discovered. Later on, it asks why Mech works to kill people. Mech replies he was forced to do it because of money. When it asks if he's going to quit, Mech replies that he can't get out of the mafia that easily, because they're going to keep chasing him. Secretly it is starting to like Mech. Actually Mech is also develops feelings for it, but he hides his feelings. Until one day, while bathing Mech, it kisses him, and they make love passionately. Later on, Mech is still struggling with his feelings. He tells it to leave while pointing a gun. It apologizes if what happened today makes him feel weird, but Mech tells him to go and leave him alone. It goes back to Sai's place. Sai is worried about him, but he doesn't say anything. Meanwhile, Mok is upset that his brother hasn't been home for a long time, and hasn't given him any news. He is forced to take care of his mother alone. He often gets discriminated against from people because he has AIDS. Secretly he makes extra money by selling himself on the streets. It returns with Sai, but he is no longer interested in continuing the relationship. He remembers that he once had a relationship with a man, but he forced to be engaged to Sai, even though he didn't love her. He can't stop thinking about Mech. Meanwhile, Mech is also thinking about it. They both miss each other. One day, it goes to Mech's place, but Mech hides from him. It leaves a phone for him, but Mech refuses the call from him. The following day, it visits Mech again. 
Next behavior is difficult to understand. He keeps hiding but leaves a doll for him, like telling that he was there. It brings the doll home. Sai finds it hugging the doll, and she feels sad about it. Once again it visits Mech. He says that he misses him a lot, but Mech keeps hiding and is sad to hear him. It really loves Mech, and he recalls their past relationship. He feels depressed and almost killed himself. One day, it finally finds Mech, but they are separated by a glass. It says that he doesn't know why Mech did this to him. He admits that he doesn't understand himself either, but he loves him. He then asks him if he feels the same way. It will go to see him, but Mech has left him. One night, it finds Mok being beaten by people. He helps him, and gets him to talk. Mok tells about his life and how much he hates it. It tries to cheer him up, then he gives him a ring, and tells Mok to give it to Mech. Later on, Mech goes to visit his mother and Mok, it turns out that it is waiting for him there. He expresses his love for Mech, and emphasizes how much he misses him. They embrace and kiss passionately. Unbeknownst to them, Mok, his mother, and Sai see them. After a while, Mech pushes it away. He then goes inside to see his mother and tell her to pack up. Mech's dream is to take his mother and Mok to go from Bangkok to the countryside. Mech goes to see Mok, but Mok is angry because he has abandoned them all this time. He confesses that he sold himself on the streets to survive after contracting AIDS from his stepfather. He also tells him how hard his life was, because he was discriminated against from people. It is about to go see Mech. He overhears their conversation, and decides to go. A jealous Sai fires a gun at it, but luckily the shot missed. Mech's mother also hears that conversation, and decides to commit suicide. When Mech and Mok are about to take her to the hospital, they are waited for by someone who shoots a gun and kills her. That person is a hitman intended to kill Mech, but the bullet hit Mech's mother instead. It comes home and finds that Sai has severed their relationship. He tries calling Mech but he gets no answer. The next day, he gets a call from Mok who finds his number. He tells him that he and Mech have decided to move to the countryside. He has been waiting for him at the train station, because Mech said that he will finish his business before leaving. Until now, Mech hasn't come yet, and he asks if it knows where Mech is. It realizes that Mech will take revenge on the Mafia. Meanwhile, Mech decides to hunt down the Mafia, and he manages to kill them all, except the Mafia boss's wife because he thinks she is innocent. It then goes to the Mafia place to help Mech, but he is too late and Mech has left from there. It only finds the bodies of the Mafia, and he is injured when the Mafia boss's wife shoots the clock, and the shattered glass hits his face. Later on, Mech meets Mok at the train station to leave Bangkok for good. But before they get on the train, Mech is caught by the police and taken away. Mok is devastated that Mech is his only family. Years passed, it visits Mech in prison. He says that Mech doesn't have to worry about Mok because he's taken care of him all this time. He tells him due to a gunfight that took place at the Mafia place, he became blind because the shattered glass hit his eye. Mech says that he wears a ring from him, and makes it very happy to hear that. Later on, it visits Mok at the hospital, but finds out that Mok has committed suicide, because he no longer had the energy to fight his illness. He left a letter addressed to Mech. In the letter, he said that he was grateful to have been his brother, because Mech was a good brother. He told how he hated his stepfather who abused him, and he hated his life from then on. He decided to live with his mother, and waited for him there. He also wrote that it was a good guy, and thanked him for looking after him all this time. Finally Mech is released from prison, and meets it who has been waiting for him. They plan to stay temporarily at its house in Bangkok, then they will move to the countryside together. But before the two men can leave to start their lives together, Mech is shot dead by a hitman. It is crying while looking for his lover's body in the rain, and saying that he loves him. Some time passed, it finally gets his sight back. He finds a video on his phone. Recorded by Mech years before, Mech admits that all this time he has loved him, and he will still love him until his last breath. 
Mech works as a hitman to support his family and provide a good home for them, somewhere far from the slums of Bangkok. Mech is given the task of killing it, but he refuses after learning that it is a good man. It saves Mech, and helps care for him. The two men bond and begin to fall in love. Unlike it, who is open with his feelings, Mech refuses to admit it. It tries to convince Mech about their relationship, while Mech still has doubts. They are both faced with a difficult choice. Apart from the negative stigma from society, they also have to go through many problems. Rather than choosing a happy ending, filmmakers prefer a tragic ending. Not only does their love story end tragically, but makes mother and brother had to end tragically, as if they have never found happiness. The main weakness of this film is the excessive melodrama, and makes the storyline too far-fetched and forced. The acting and chemistry are there. The film has an interesting premise by creating a love story from the slum life in Bangkok, and raise the theme of AIDS and homosexuality. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.